Hey Leos, how are you guys doing? I had a lot of y'all in my DMs, Instagram, Snapchat, asking me where your readings were. All the fire signs were like, where is our reading? Guys, I did a poll. Y'all were just not, the votes were not there. So I had to do the other ones before you guys, cause that's just how it came out. But here are your readings. Okay, I'm starting with Leo and Sag. Out of the three fire signs, if there are Sagittarius is watching, Sag is. Y'all just weren't there. But anyway, yeah, here you go, Leos. Here's your April 2020 monthly spread. I just meditated on your energy. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to me. Follow me on my Instagram, my Instagrams, I mean, so that when I do future Instagram polls, in regards to my YouTube channel, my tarot readings, that you guys have a fair chance because I did a poll on both of my Instagrams and the fire signs were just not there. So, sorry that you guys had to wait, but we're here, we're in the last week of March. So let's see how April 2020 is going to go for y'all. And this can resonate for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. If it doesn't resonate, please check out your other placement videos. And if it still doesn't resonate, I'm sorry. The messages just weren't for you. Okay, so let's see the current energy for Leo placements. Current energy. Ooh. The Chariot and the Magician. So far, you guys are doing good, I think. Chariot, maybe you guys are traveling, driving. Maybe you guys are dealing with a cancer individual. But I feel like right now you guys are doing pretty good. Life is treating you guys fair. You've got the three of wands. It could be that you guys are waiting for a message from somebody. Maybe you guys are waiting for something to come in. But currently I feel like you guys are just creating a lot. Maybe you guys feel alive currently in March. Feeling alive, feeling powerful. Maybe things are manifesting at a very quick rate for you because the chariot is all about determination. But I think you guys have goals that you guys are rushing towards. Uranus and Taurus is in you guys' 10th house. So it's affecting your public image and your career. So for a lot of you guys, this could be you guys charging forward in your workplace. And I know we're in quarantine or whatever, but there is some people still working. Maybe this is you guys pushing forward and persevering within your job charging ahead but you guys have a really strong energy right now magician and the chariot lots of that's a very strong powerful duo here can i get the theme for april 2020 for leo placements what is the theme of april for leo okay interesting that I'm talking about charging forward and moving ahead. For some of you guys, April might be a, with the two of swords here, there's, there could be maybe a blockage that is stopping you guys from pursuing something in April. Because you have this strong energy of charging forward, we've got the Knight of Wands, which is another card about movement. So I think in April, there's something that you guys wanna pursue there's something you guys want to charge forward with, but for some reason there's a blockage here. There's some stagnant energy. Something is not, and it could be a blockage within yourself, a blockage between logic and intuition. Maybe there was an argument that you had with someone. Maybe there was some kind of conflict that's causing you guys to withdraw and avoid something. There might be something in April that you guys are avoiding. You're blocking out the movement from happening. Or something else is blocking out the movement. Or whatever it is that you guys are trying to pursue and get going. Can I get the key goal for Leo placements? What is the key goal? Okay. Knight of Swords, see? 
there could be something that you're trying to rush into or rush out of. Maybe you guys are, maybe there's a commitment here that you guys were offered with the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. There was some kind of happiness that you guys, or new beginning, new financial beginning that you guys were maybe offered and you guys are rushing to, but there is some kind of like betrayal or pain that is holding you back. Something is holding you back. And I think it's mentally. There's something mentally holding you back. And your goal, both of these nights are very fast and quick. I think you guys wanna get something done really quick, whether that's a relationship within work. There's something that you guys want to happen real quickly. And you guys are just rushing towards it. But I think there's some kind of pain or betrayal that's causing this new beginning from happening. What's the obstacle in April for Leo? Mm. See? The obstacle. There's lots of swords already popping up in April. The four of swords as an obstacle. It could be that you guys are finding it hard to take yourself out of a situation or to come out of a situation. If you guys were by yourselves, single, maybe on a vacation, taking a break from something, if that's what you guys were doing, I think coming out of that state is gonna be hard. Maybe you fell in love with being by yourself. Maybe you guys found a place within yourself and now either the obstacle is coming out of that because it felt so good or relaxing and taking yourself out of a situation because there's something here blocking you guys from moving forward too quickly or pursuing that because you guys have that drive here you have that drive in March something's gonna be blocking that drive I think the universe is like slow down Leo we know you got goals, we know you have ambitions, we know you're trying to create something here, and you have the power to create. But you know, you gotta take your time with it. Don't rush. Because in April, there's something you're trying to pursue, there's something you're trying to achieve. But I think the obstacle It's gonna be like taking your time. Letting yourself rest could be the obstacle. Letting yourself take a break from something. Especially if you've been pursuing it and pursuing it and pursuing it. Haven't been taking a lot of time to yourself. That could be the obstacle here. Just taking some time out for yourself. If you've been working a lot in the recent past, maybe it's gonna be an obstacle for you to take yourself out of work and really rest, recuperate and get back to a normal self. Can I get a major accomplishment for Leos in the month of April? Six of Pentacles. So something's gonna be reciprocating something to you in April. What is Leo accomplishing in April 2020? Hmm. High Priestess. If you guys are trying to tap into your intuition, next month i see that you guys are accomplishing that there is some kind of knowledge that you are going to get as well i think something is going to be shared to you whether that's intuitively or if this is a third party coming out to you and telling you something and see there's the ten of swords and the ace of pentacles so there is a new beginning coming to you something is going you're going to receive something but I think first you have to deal with this pain that you are holding on to. It's so weird that those cards are again at the bottom of the deck. If you're trying to escape something, escape healing from this pain by surrounding yourself by work and just trying to pursue goals and you're not taking the time out for yourself, you're not going to be able to get that beginning. You know what I'm saying? So whatever you're trying to get to, it's only gonna take longer if you're not taking care of yourself, okay? 
but I see that something is being given or taken. There's going to be reciprocity. There's going to be equality being accomplished next month. But I think there's some kind of knowledge that you're going to receive. Can I please pull cards for what Leo should avoid next month? What should Leo placements avoid in the month of... So there's the unknown card. I'm not going to take it. What should Leo... What should Leo avoid in the month of April? Two of Cups. So there could be a connection here that you have to avoid next month. I'm going to clarify that. What should Leo embrace in the month of April? What should Leo placements embrace? So this could be a, a Libra that you have to embrace into your life. But this could also be Karma. So if you have done something in the past and you're getting maybe negative karma, you need to embrace that, okay? You need to accept what has happened, accept that the energy that you have put out is coming back to you, but it could also be positive because here, if you look at that, the six of pentacles is also about reciprocity. There's a give and take here. So I think that whatever it is that you are being given, it's gonna be something good. It's not gonna be negative karma or whatever it is. You're gonna be receiving something. It could be positive news that's coming in, maybe from a earth sign female, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This could also be, if you guys are involved in like court or litigation or something like that, this could be good news. Something is coming into balance, so you need to embrace this. I think that this is news for some reason. You're gonna learn something. Something's gonna come to you. Something is coming back into balance and you need to embrace that. Where can Leo placements find support next month? Okay, so three of cups at the bottom of the deck. So that could be within a friendship, but then we got the star card. Air cards here, an Aquarius. So you guys may find support within with an Aquarius person, maybe a friend. Maybe someone that you are in a relationship with or a marriage, a serious commitment. If that's not a person, you can find support just in the universe by knowing that everything happens when it should. This can also be your intuition and your subconscious. So if you wish something or you're trying to manifest something, know that the universe is supporting you. Okay? Your thoughts are being heard, Leo. And what is some advice for Leo placements for April? What is some advice for Leo placements? Okay, so we got the Queen of Swords. I think that this is talking about communication. Be honest, you know, don't bite your tongue. If there's some kind of conflict, you need to be honest, be fair, be truthful. There's lots of air energy here, honesty, equality. Don't make decisions based off of your um, emotions, okay, Leo? Think of things rationally. And because there's so many swords here, that could be what you need to do. Be more rational in April. Spirit, can I please clarify the messages that I received for Leo placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Can I clarify these messages? Also, that advice could be a air sign female. Right? So air... Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. The signs that are coming up right now, guys, if this relationship is somebody, if this is a love reading for you, there's Cancer, Libra, and Aquarius. And then the air sign female, Queen of Swords. Can I please clarify the messages for Leo placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for April 2020? Okay, Spirit. What is this current energy here with the chariot? The chariot. Mm. Seven of pentacles and judgment. So currently, guys, there could be a decision that you guys are contemplating right now. There could be something that you're deeply invested in that you're now looking back and being like, okay, is this something that I want to go forward with? Is this something that I want to continue to invest my time in? Because clearly you're investing a lot of time. You're very determined with whatever this is. And with judgment there, I think that there is a final call that you either need to make 
in regards to this situation or that no yeah there's some kind of final call there's some kind of decision that you have to come to when it either comes to this cancer person or to whatever this thing is that you're putting a lot of time and effort into cancer or no <laughs> the chariot card you got the six of swords so it could be a decision on leaving something behind and leaving very quickly with the six of swords i'm not going to take that but yeah the six of swords the chariot both talking about movement so it could be that you have to decide okay do i want to leave or do i want to stay because the chariot does talk about moving do i want to move do i want to move away one more piece for the chariot for leo's current energy the chariot do I want to stay with this cancer placement or do I want to go? One more please for the chariot. Why is this chariot energy here? Why is the chariot energy here? Ten of wands. Okay, I'm going to take that. But yeah, there could be a situation that you're really invested in. You could be the only one putting effort into a situation to make it work. But I think... Whatever the situation is that you're putting all of your time, effort, all the responsibilities and burdens are on your back. You're the only thing that is driving whatever it is that you're dealing with in this situation. I think you're coming to a point where you're like, okay, is this what I want to do? And yeah, it could be physically moving with the five of pentacles here, deciding to stay or to go in a situation. But I think whatever you guys are currently dealing with, you're the driving force. You're the one that has all the burdens on you. It's a one-sided situation, and now the final call is in your hands. And you have to make the decision. Maybe to stay or to go. If this is related to work, the decision may be, should I keep on working because I'm almost at the end of the journey, or should I put my energy into something else that's going to give to me? And that could be what that Six of Pentacles is here. Can I clarify the Magician for Leo's current energy? Two of Wands, Two of Swords. Okay, so there is something that you guys are still maybe confused or blocking out. Could be regarding a decision with the Two of Wands. Once again, the Two of Wands can be related to moving because that person has the world in their hands. They're looking. See the six of wands. So I think there's something about moving forward. One more piece for the magician. And the fool. So yeah, there could be a new journey that you are contemplating, but for some reason you're having this energy. I think there's something that you're blocking out. You're avoiding making a decision because I think once you make that decision, it's going to take you on a journey that you've never been on before. It's going to be like taking a risk, taking a step forward that maybe you're not used to. The fool is also on the edge of a cliff here and he's not even looking. He's, he's looking at the butterfly and you can see he's on the cliff. So there could be a... a situation that you're actually physically manifesting see eight of cups so there's something you're leaving walking away from there's something here that you guys are currently dealing with when it in regards to maybe traveling moving leaving somebody something that you guys are doing all the work in and you guys know you have the power to create and to create something new with the fool here but I think there's a decision that you guys are just not trying to make right now. And it could be that the decision is all in your hands. Two of wands and judgment. You're the one making the call here. And that's why I think you're being so hesitant. Because once you make that decision, that's it. There's a finality to this decision that you guys are making. Especially with judgment. Once you make the decision, there's no going back, Leo. Leo. And I think that's why you guys are kind of embodying this two of swords. That's why you're avoiding this. Because you know once you take that step, you can't go back. 
Can I clarify the Two of Swords for the theme for April 2020 for Leos? Two of Swords. Two of Swords. You got the King of Cups. So yeah, there's definitely a blockage of your emotions, your intuition. Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You guys are blocking off that intuitive side, whatever your gut is telling you. I feel like in April, you may not be paying attention to it that much. One more for the Two of Swords. Why are they blocking out their intuition? Six of Cups. This could also be a water sign male that is coming back to you if this is a Leo female or even male. This could be a water sign male that's going to come and try to reconcile with you. And maybe you've been blocking out this toxic connection because they're trying to bring back, what the heck? That is the Six of Swords. They are trying to come back, move back to you, offer you a new cup of love. But I think that it's either you're blocking this person out or you're blocking your intuition from giving you all these messages next month. I'd be careful of that, Leo. Don't block out what your gut is telling you next month. That can be very dangerous. That can be very dangerous. Knight of Wands, why is this the theme for Leo? Ten of Pentacles, yeah, there is a goal for you guys, a long-term goal that maybe you've been working on and you guys wanna get to that goal quickly. Y'all are trying to make it. One more for the Knight of Wands. Seven of Wands. Mm. One more please for the Knight of Wands. Why is this their goal next month? Two of Pentacles. I'm not taking them reversed if I feel like I don't want them. So lots of Pentacle energy here. I think that there is a goal that you guys have, maybe specifically to a Leo female. I think that there is a goal here that you have that's going to be beneficial for you long term. Remember what I was saying with the Queen of Swords as your advice? This is kind of echoing that energy of speaking your truth, standing up for yourself, not being afraid of telling people how it is. So I think for you guys, your theme is going to be and I don't know why you're blocking out your intuition or you're blocking out someone from coming back to reconcile with you and I think by doing that you guys think that it's going to be beneficial for you because now that you guys can pursue this goal you don't have someone from your past coming back to you right mm. and for some of you Leo's if you're dealing with another fire sign female that's who's trying to come back they may be wanting to build something stable with you with the three of pentacles and they're probably waiting for a message from you but i definitely think your theme is going to be either you're blocking out your intuition this month you're blocking out intuitive messages from coming forth maybe from a past life but then you're also pursuing your goals and that's what you're trying to do next month Can I clarify the Knight of Swords as the key goal? More energy of pursuing quickly. Knight of Swords. Why is this the key goal for Leos? Hmm. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, see? Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and the Devil. If you're dealing with a Capricorn individual Leo I think that they're going to try to come back or this is you trying to get back with them and I think that you're really trying to focus on this person your key goal is to really work on something and you got two Knights here Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords so somebody is trying to come back okay for some of you this is another thing if you guys are players, if you guys are used to coming in and out of situations with people, this could be your key goal. You might be trying to come back, rush into a situation, 
Um, it could be like a toxic or a karmic situation that you guys were in. Your goal might be to come back, offer this person a cup, offer some kind of romantic gesture, and really work on your toxic traits when it comes to this relationship. Yeah, I don't see this as something that you guys are trying to work on. Maybe you guys are working on your toxic traits, but I think that you guys are going to either go back to somebody and offer them a relationship or try to make things work with somebody. But this could be a situation where you're just used to coming in and out. Maybe one of you left the situation with the Eight of Cups. You walked away because you guys weren't really happy. It wasn't really working for you. And now your key goal in April is going to be coming back to this person, being like, hey, listen, I'm ready to commit. I'm ready to work and put some energy into this relationship. Maybe that's what you left behind or are going to leave behind in March with the Seven of Pentacles. If you guys are currently single, and we're maybe thinking like, okay, should I invest in this or should I invest in that or take my energy somewhere else? You might be rushing back to somebody else and putting your effort into them and leaving behind whatever situation it is that you feel like you're the one doing all the work. So in March, if there is a decision that you have to make regarding a relationship, or even uh, maybe a job where you're like, okay, this or that. Should I put energy in this or should I put energy in that? This one, I'm kind of doing everything. I'm the only one making plans, trying to do stuff. But with this person, you know, maybe we have great sex, you know, it's an in and out kind of situation. You come and go when you want. But now, you know, I'm not really trying to put all the effort into a situation, so I might just go back to this person and really put energy into them now. That might be your key goal. You might be trying to get somebody back. Okay, Leo? And it might be something karmic where you feel very bonded to this person and you can't let them go. For whatever the reason is, you just feel like, damn, I can't. And it could be something actually very karmic. Because you know how karmic situations, they keep popping up? Yep, with the Knight of Swords. He comes and goes as he pleases. He's very in and out, so. Mm. Yep. Okay, Spear, what is the major obstacle for Leos with this Four of Swords? Four of Swords. Hmm. Queen of Cups, Five of Wands. We got the Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. One more please for the Four of Swords is an obstacle. Four of Swords is an obstacle. Four of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Blue. So for some of you, the obstacle is going to be maybe removing yourself from a situation that you have with a water sign female, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Maybe there's some petty conflict here. Maybe you guys are feeling like you're competing with other people when it comes to this relationship and your obstacle is going to be removing yourself completely from that situation. That could be one thing. See, there's that Ace of Pentacles. But I feel like this could also be something internal. With the Four of Cups here. I'm gonna have to sit on that one. Can I clarify the Six of Pentacles as a major accomplishment for Leo placements? Six of Pentacles. Five of Swords. So if there was conflict, I think that you guys are going to end up getting over it, overcoming it. Oh, this could be with a Queen of Pentacles female Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. If you were giving into a situation and it was just constantly arguments, you know, conflict, etc., this person wasn't willing to see your point of view when it came to communication. I think that the 
it's, there's gonna be reciprocity now. If this person wasn't listening to you in the past, when it came to certain things, they're gonna be listening now. Six of Pentacles, please, for Leo. Six of Pentacles for Leo placements. The Emperor. This could also be involved with an Aries person. If someone was being narcissistic, egotistical, always thinking they're the right, they're right when it comes to arguments and communication, and you were you wouldn't you weren't able to get it through their head like okay this is how it is. I think that in April that's what you're going to be accomplishing. Now this person is going to be willing to listen, and there's going to be equality brought back into this situation. And for the high priestess. Why is the High Priestess an accomplishment for Leo placements? The Magician and the Ace of Swords. So there's something spiritual that you guys are accomplishing here. Magician and the Ace of Swords. One more please for the High Priestess. Mm. Justice. High Priestess. And the Six of Swords. You guys could be trying to manifest a move or leaving a situation with the Six of Swords here. The High Priestess and the Magician is a very powerful combination and very spiritual. So I think there's something spiritual that you guys are working on that you guys are going to accomplish. If you guys are working on your maybe clairvoyance or anything to do with your mind, you're going to accomplish that. So I don't know if you guys are focusing more on dream work or getting into spirituality. but I think you guys are gonna be receiving a lot of messages from your intuition. Be careful what you think as well. I don't know why I'm getting that. It could be that you guys are manifesting a relationship, specifically Leo males. Um, but I do see that you guys are leaving behind that Five of Swords energy. You're leaving that conflict behind. So if you guys don't think you're strong enough to move away from something, best believe you are. Balance is being restored here. The justice card, her sword is coming down. Some kind of karmic lesson is being learned. It's being integrated into your life. Maybe if this is a lesson that you guys were going through and needed to learn, you guys are definitely learning that. You guys are definitely learning that. You're accomplishing something very spiritual next month. Yep. And that's why I think you need to embrace it. Yep. And I'm wondering if it also isn't the truth is coming out about a situation that you already knew deep down and you were manifesting it so that you could finally walk away from this situation. You guys are gonna manifest something. Something's gonna be manifested in April. Can I clarify the Two of Cups? Someone may be stalking you as well. Whoever this relationship is that you have to avoid. Page of Swords, someone may be stalking you on social media. Why does Leo need to avoid the Two of Cups? Two of Cups. Why should Leo avoid Page of Cups? Yeah, someone's gonna make you an offer. Someone's been looking at you following you keeping up with what you're doing and they're they want to come back they want to offer something they want to come back with an apology two of cups why does leo need to avoid this maybe it's a gemini why does leo need to avoid this two of cups okay king of pentacles was the Queen of Pentacles here? You guys might be dealing with a soulmate connection. Okay, the King and the Queen of Pentacles. This is a very divine connection here. Could be an earth sign male, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Specifically Capricorn, because that's what came up here. One more please for the Two of Cups. Why does Leo need to avoid this connection? Two of Cups. I'm going to take that four of pentacles. 
two of cups. Okay, one more please for the two of cups. Why does Leo need to avoid this? I think this person just wants to come back and have sex with you. One more please for the two of cups. Yeah, see, ace of wands. There's a connection here that you have with someone. They haven't budged, okay? Nothing has changed about them. They're still greedy. But they want to come back because they miss the D, okay? They miss that coochie. Okay, Leo, be careful. One more, please, for the Two of Cups. Why does Leo need to avoid this connection? Why does Leo need to avoid this Two of Cups next month? Okay, I'm not gonna pull anymore because they keep coming out crazy. The Three of Wands, yeah. Leo, there is someone that is waiting for you to come back or they're waiting for a message to come from you. If they've already messaged you, they're waiting for your response. Somebody is waiting here with that Three of Wands. Do not respond to this person. See, Eight of Wands at the bottom. This person, this King of Pentacles, whoever this person is, Earth sign, they're waiting for a, some kind of communication from you. They want you to reach out. They want you to message them back or message them first. I don't think you should. Whatever the situation is here, you need to avoid it. I don't think they have changed. I don't think they have moved, right? There's something about them that's being very stagnant and there's just, they're very stubborn, okay? Earth signs are very stubborn, let me tell you. Whoever this person is, they have not changed, Leo, okay? Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They have not changed, but they wanna come back. Avoid them, please, don't. They may say, okay, I've changed, okay, I wanna be with you now, they don't. They don't. And it could be this person that is coming up in the past that you feel like you're the only one doing all the effort. Maybe they come back in April and they're like, okay, listen, I'm willing to put my, I'm willing to put effort in now. They haven't changed. Okay, they haven't changed. Can I clarify justice as what Leo needs to embrace? Justice. Yeah, this is definitely something spiritual. There's something that's coming that is out of your hands, Leo. Justice, why does Leo need to avoid this? There's something that is coming that is out of your hands. Three of Cups. This could be a connection that you have with a Libra. I feel like there's some kind of spiritual breakthrough that's coming that you need to embrace. You're going to be learning something. Hmm. Something's going to be coming to you via your intuition. And it's going to help you somehow make this decision. Because I think this accomplishment that you're making is a decision here. It could be a decision to leave. Maybe leave a certain friendship. So in April, if you are alone or if you are taking yourself out of a situation to gain a new perspective on something, maybe staying away from a certain friend, the decision to do that is going to help you. Okay, the decision to do that is going to help you. That could be the lesson as well. That could be the lesson as well. Can I clarify the star is where Leo can find support? The star, the 10 of cups, emotional fulfillment, the star. Okay, so this definitely could be finding support within yourself, finding support within your own happiness, manifesting your own dreams, whatever it is that you want that is gonna make you happy, you can have it. Staying optimistic, staying happy, that's where you can find support. Not dwelling on the negative, not being in a very negative mindset. That's where you can find support. Can I clarify the Queen of Swords as advice? Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Something that just came to me was speak it into existence. So I don't know if that's something that you have to do in April, guys, but speak it into existence. Queen of Swords for Leo placements. Seven of Swords, yeah. So when you feel like someone's being sneaky or someone's doing something behind your back, call them out, Leo. Queen of Swords. The strength card, see? Yeah, have that inner courage 
find that inner strength to use your throat chakra. I'm telling you, and the deck that I'm going to use, my angel deck, I didn't have it out here, but I made sure that I took it out because that's the one that I'm going to use. Watch. Queen of Swords spirit. Why, does, why is this the advice? Queen of Wands. Yeah. This could be for a Leo female. You might need to find the inner strength within yourself to maybe walk away from a situation, maybe a relationship, because the Four of Wands is at the bottom. If you feel like someone is going behind your back and maybe lying to you, call them out. Okay? Yeah. Call them out. Now, when it comes to your obstacle, I feel like there's something that you are involved in here, Leo. Maybe like a group, maybe something within a group, or this could just be conflict within yourself. But I think that this could, this is with somebody else, I think, with the Queen of Cups here. I feel like you and this Queen of Cups person are somehow in conflict with each other. There's some kind of competition. For some reason, I feel like you guys like it. You guys like it. Well, this could be the fact that, so removing yourself, I think, is the issue here. You're not taking the time out for yourself. And I think whatever this five of wands energy is having to compete having to fight i think that's what's distracting you from something from coming in there's some kind of maybe this is communication that you're not paying attention to this could be an offer that's coming in for you to take some time out but you're not taking it this also could be that you're also fighting your intuition if you guys need to take a break, you need to take it. Because when you're constantly, and this could be a work situation as well, if you're constantly competing for something at work and you're just, you know, having feeling like you're battling, that's going to deplete you emotionally. And that could be with the females here. You're not trying to listen to yourself when you're, when your inner self is telling you, okay, listen, Leo, it's time to take a break. It's time to get out of the mix. Because right now, your obstacle is getting out of the mix. Five, four of Swords, Five of Wands. You have a problem getting out of the mix. You're focused on something else. You're focused on something else. And it's not your intuition. I don't think you're trying to take the time out to heal yourself. I feel like you guys feel like your guard always has to be up. You always have to fight for something. And then when you get in that defensive mode, it's kind of like you forget about the part of you that actually needs to be nurtured and healed. And I don't think you forget about it because I think you know on some level. Okay. Like, you know, my intuition is telling me this. My subconscious is telling me, okay, this is what I got to do. I think you guys distract yourself on purpose. And I think that's what you guys are doing now in April. You guys are going to somehow distract yourself and make it seem like you don't need to take this break. You don't need this time. So you're going to distract yourself with a whole bunch of other things and maybe it's a new relationship. If you guys just got out of a really painful situation, instead of taking the time to heal, I don't think you guys are, okay? You're going to keep going around trying to find somebody to replace that void in your heart. It could be an earth sign, to be honest. Again, there's that earth energy because if you had to make a decision in March to move on from someone and you kind of don't really want to that's why your goal here is to rush back into a relationship with someone that you know is toxic but you're just gonna go back anyway because you think you want to commit to this person but instead of doing your own self-healing and your own the own work on yourself you just want to distract yourself you want to be in the mix because once you're out of the mix 
That's when all the emotions flood back in. That's when you get into your feelings with the Four of Cups. That's when you focus on the things that you really have to focus on. But with the Four of Pentacles, there's an element of a new beginning coming. So I think that if you guys get in this Four of Swords state, you're gonna realize something. Something good will come out of the Four of Swords energy, but I don't think you guys wanna go there with yourself. Because you know once you be by yourself, once you're alone and you have all those thoughts and you have time to process those other three cups, it might be a little painful. Because I know Leos do feel deep. Even though you guys are fire signs, I know y'all got that emotion. And the only way to keep yourself from diving into that emotional state and feeling all that emotion is by carrying that five of wands energy and just being out there, being in the mix. So I think your obstacle is gonna be that. I feel like your obstacle is self-healing. I don't think you guys wanna do that. Y'all don't wanna take the time to heal. But I'm telling you, if you get the chance to have some time off of work, be by yourself. Don't be going all out there and stuff. It is okay to be alone. Don't be in the mix anymore. If you feel like you're fighting for someone else's attention, leave them alone, Leo. Leave them alone. Something better will come. Because right now you're focused on something else to the point where the universe is going to be offering you something. And because you're not taking the time to remove yourself from a certain situation with somebody else, you're gonna miss that opportunity. Okay. I almost forgot what I was doing. Anyway, now I'm gonna pull from my Love Oracle deck. We're gonna see the romance energy for the month of April. See, love yourself first. I think that there is a lot of good things coming in. Your intuition, there's lessons that are gonna be learned next month, Leo, okay? So just know that. There's gonna be something very, very, maybe not heavy, but something very karmic. You've probably been in this cycle for a long time. If this is that energy of being alone, you're gonna accomplish that. And by being alone, being passive, absorbing everything that you are going through there's going to be clarity on a situation okay you're getting clarity and i think by getting clarity here and this is something very spiritual there's going to be a lot of breakthroughs mentally the universe is going to be bringing you answers bringing you justice if you've been through a lot of shit in the past you're gonna be able to move forward, Leo, okay? The universe is not gonna let you go through all this stuff and not give you something in return. If you've been finding it hard to leave somebody behind, I think in April, you will be able to leave them behind. Maybe this is a job, maybe you're finally able to quit. But I think when it comes to certain arguments and certain um, connections that you have with people, there's going to be, what is it called? People are gonna be giving back to you, okay? Because in the past, I don't think they have been. Specifically an earth sign. A lot of you might be dealing with earth, earth signs right now. Maybe you work with them. Maybe they're in your family. If you've been arguing with a mother figure, queen of pentacles, if you've been arguing with someone that is your own, maybe a mother and a father, Okay, Queen of Pentacles, the Emperor. If you've been having issues with guardians or someone that is an authority for you or a mother and a father type figure for you, if you've been having disagreements, there's some kind of imbalance within the connections, there's going to be reciprocity. There's gonna be balance restored with the Six of Pentacles. Maybe you are finally able to share your viewpoints because in the past it might've been an issue. 
Avoid that connection with the earth sign, please. This person has not changed their behavior. And I feel like they're somehow linked to the past. Okay. But I think, don't try to distract yourself when it comes to love, okay? Speak your mind, speak your truth. Find that inner courage to stand up for yourself. Because you can, you can support yourself. You can make yourself happy, okay? I was gonna say spirit. Okay, Leo, you can make yourself happy. Embrace the breakthroughs that are going to come into your life. You're gonna be very knowledgeable, but you have to unblock this blockage. Don't ignore your intuition. I think there's something from the past that you're not wanting to come back to you. So you might just shut down your intuition and your emotional side completely. You're like, no, I don't want to deal with this right now. And that's kind of what I'm getting as the obstacle. Because you're not trying to see certain things. In the Two of Swords, you're, you're putting yourself there, right? You, you, you don't want to see certain things. You're avoiding. Because you don't want to see certain things intuitively, you're blocking something from coming back. But I do see yourself, even though you're having that energy, you're also trying to move forward and push through. Bring balance back into your life. Pursue those goals that you have that are going to benefit you long term. Especially with um, Uranus and Taurus right now affecting your 10th house. I think you guys are really stepping into this energy of bossness. Seven of Wands. Speaking your mind, speaking your truth especially when it comes to your long-term goals. You're not letting anybody stop you, okay? You're not letting anybody stop you. You're gonna say and do exactly, ooh, you're gonna say and do exactly what you gotta do to get where you wanna go, and that's to the 10 of pentacles, okay? What is the love energy for Leos? Mm. What is the love energy for Leos in April 2020? What is the love energy for Leos in April? I'm not gonna take those. There's a lot of people coming up here for you, Leo. So I don't know if you're dealing with a whole bunch of other people, but I'm getting that vibe. You got people from your past coming back. You have people that you've kept on the back burner. You have a couple people from your past that you don't want to come back. And you might like that attention actually with that five of wands. That's why you don't wanna be by yourself. You kinda like having people fight for you. Mm, I get it now. Can I clarify Leo? What's their love life looking like next month? Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. What is the love energy for Leos in April? Healing family issues. See, so that might be what you're accomplishing there. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is going on in their love life next month? For some of you, y'all might be getting married, honestly. Okay, that's the second time this engagement card has come out. So some of you guys might be getting engaged. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. If this was a love reading for you guys, and this spiritual awakening that I think is happening for your accomplishment, it might be that in order to ascend to this new level in love, that spiritual awakening had to come. Love life in April for Leo. I'm going to take this one and that's it. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. The King and Queen of Cups also came out, I believe. Yeah. So there is somebody in April that you have a very strong bonded attachment to. Spiritually connected relationship. And with the King and Queen of Pentacles, I think the same thing. There's a soulmate here that you guys are dealing with. It's very strong. 
um, this connection has potential to grow into something very good for you guys, but y'all need to put your side hose away. Leo, y'all don't gotta be a player. Y'all can love one person. What's going on for Leos in the month of April? I feel very distracted right now. Is that how y'all are feeling, distracted? What is the energy for Leos in April 2020? What do they need to know, Spirit? What do Leos need to know for the month of April? one more but <laughs> so we got twin flame your answer to your question involves a spiritually based romantic relationship so for some of you if you know what a twin flame is then great you're probably dealing with one right now um, if you're not dealing with a twin flame then this is somebody that you're very spiritually connected with that's coming into your life king and queen of cups Maybe this is two different people because we got the king and queen of pentacles. So for some of you, you might be dealing with a very spiritually based relationship for one person. And then the other person that you're dealing with, maybe it is somebody that you're actually meant to be with. So you guys could be balancing out two people right now. Um, one of them you feel that spiritual connection with. The other one, if that other relationship is kind of having issues, see what I mean here? Where you keep going back and forth, back and forth. Your goal might be to go for the one that you have the issues with, aka the twin flame, and the other one is just someone that you feel very deeply connected to on a spiritual level. So I think for some Leos, y'all got two people here and you keep going back and forth. One of them is kind of bumpy and rocky. That's why you keep going back to the one that feels really good. Mmm, that's what it is. Visualize success. See yourself doing well in this situation and have faith in a positive outcome, okay? So when you guys are doing certain things, when it comes to work, when it comes to whatever it is in your life, visualize it and it will come into fruition, okay? Where can you find support within yourself? You guys can create your reality. Visualize success. Whatever it is that you want in your life, you guys can have it. Earth Angel. You are a light worker who has come to earth to teach about love. Interesting. Teach about love. One more please for Leo placements in the month of April. Goddess. Express your divine feminine energy, embracing its magical intuition and nurturing qualities. All right, guys, that's what I'm talking about with the obstacle. That could be one message for somebody. I switched these around. You guys don't want, I feel like some of y'all don't want to heal. Y'all don't want to cut off the twin flame and y'all don't want to cut off that other spiritually based relationship because you like the drama. You like the pettiness. You like people fighting over for your attention. And in April, please don't do that. Please don't do that. Leo, come on. I feel like pulling one more for you guys. See, and I'm trying to make sure that these videos don't take forever, but y'all got me messed up. What's going on for April for Leo placements? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What messages do you have for them? Kiwi. Do a walking meditation each day for the next week. Y'all need to start meditating. The power that you guys are embodying right now especially with your accomplishment with the magician here showing up twice y'all have the power to manifest y'all got the star card here start meditating you're gonna be getting all the answers within goddess this is divine feminine energy meditation intuition you guys are trying to block that out i don't know why don't block out that feminine aspect of you don't block it out because you're going to be blocking out a bunch of good stuff. Don't be afraid to heal. Don't be afraid to be alone. Don't be afraid to feel feelings within, especially Leo males because y'all are prideful. Y'all got an ego. Y'all can cry, okay? 
Y'all can cry. That doesn't make you a bitch. That just means you're in tune with your emotions. Okay? So I want to thank you guys for coming and watching your reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. If it doesn't make sense right now, if you're watching in March, please come back mid-April. See if it resonates then. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me. Please like the video. And I will see you guys next time.